Hello there, people! Welcome back to another episode of Casual's Perspective. Today, I'm going to be going over Smite Patch 4.11, and we're just going to talk about the changes, and then we'll come back to Kukulin here. It's actually not a very big patch. There's a lot of skins, there's a new event, but I don't care about any of that, because we're going to go straight into item changes. Yeah, the Smite Pro League's having their big end-of-split tournament soon, so there's not a lot of changes, but... These two aura items, so Gauntlet of Thieves and Sovereignty, are both taking nerfs because they were incredibly strong. I disagree with how they were changed. Like, basically, now it's less of an aura item, especially in the case of Sovereignty. In Gauntlet of Thieves' case, they lose 50 health and they lose 5 of each protection. Whoopty shit, I usually get Gauntlet of Thieves just for the health. But Sovereignty, like, when you look at Sovereignty's change here, they get increased physical protection on themselves, but the aura gets cut in half. So the person who buys Sov is only losing 5 protections, but that aura, which is what makes Sovereignty a good item, loses 15 physical protection, and that's unfortunate in my opinion. Then Shifter's Shield gets a much needed cost increase. Honestly, it probably would have been better if they just would have scaled back the power on the item, but 2500 gold is a little bit better than what it was before. And then for the god changes, uh, Daji just finally fixed another bug. Fafnir, the slow, gets dinged. This slow is so annoying. But now it's just 20% in all ranks, so it's a little more bearable. I really like the Ganesh change because now the slow is more impactful. The ultimate needed to have a bigger bang early. Because when they took away how much shred it had on bosses, it took a hit on Ganesha itself. Now with the slow being more potent at rank 1, it's going to be a great, like a much better ganking tool. And then Nemesis gets her passive reduced because why nerf Susano or Bologna or Osiris? But whatever, it's okay. I'm not mad. Alright, let's talk about Kukulin. Uh, he's the new god coming to smite in this patch, and honestly, he has a really cool idea, but the execution is a little odd to me. So let me just explain what this guy is, what he tries to do, and then uh, you guys can let me know what you think down in the comments below. So, before I go into specifics, his whole niche is that he doesn't have mana. Every time he does something, he gains fury. And basically, what's weird here is how he goes about his daily life. So, he starts off in his human form, and then whenever he hits 85 fury, he turns into a giant beast. So, he's kind of like Fafnir, except he doesn't need to use his ultimate for it. So, his passive is just what I just explained. He does not have mana, but once he gets above, and they actually call it mana here, but they don't call it mana anywhere else. Yeah, it's ferocity, whatever. Once he hits above 85, he goes berserk. His first ability is basically a line attack. It's a line attack in both forms. So it's either it's a spear that stuns less powerful minions. So I don't know what this exactly means, but I'm going to assume that it doesn't stun fire minions, which sucks. But regardless, it does nothing other than anti-heal on gods. So like... That's awkward. But you use the mana, but you gain it back if you hit stuff. So you always want to be hitting as much as you can. Two is Vent Anger. Think Mystical Mail. It's pretty much all I need to say for that. It takes away some of his rage, so if you don't want to go into Big Berserk form, use this, and it creates a Mystical Mail. Third is like a shitty leap. So it does a good chunk of damage from what I've seen, but like... He just kind of jumps and then a little bit of a line. It's n it's not even a large leap. It's a very small leap, like Kamazot's level small leap. But if you hit stuff, you get more mana and you get into that Berserk form. And then he gets like old Wukong too. So he swings his spear in a circle and it knocks stuff up. This move gets the most ferocity or that mana back, but yeah. Um, then everything else changes. So again, at 85, he goes into Berserk form. Then his first ability is Ground Slam. Same thing, line attack, except now it roots stuff. Vent Anger is now passive. You get to be in this form for about 20 seconds at a time, and this is just constantly happening. His third ability turns into Hercules' Charge. So Hercules' Driving Strike, except it doesn't stun after. And then Warcry, which is like Bacchus Alt, except instead of being drunk, you're feared... 
I don't know, it's basically like a whole bunch of other gods moves are now in one spot, so like, I don't know, it just seems like it lacks originality. I really like the idea with no mana and turning into a Hulk, but I think they could have given him some more original moves or at least done something to this barb spear crap, like make it affect gods somehow. But anyway, I digress. That's all the time that I'm going to have for this episode. Once my internet finally gets fucking fixed, I will be back to making more of the content that you have grown accustomed to. But my internet has been taking a shit on me. I've got someone coming out probably later this week. So until next time, guys, this is Celtic the Casual signing off. Have yourselves a lovely day.